Bonjour Marie. Bonjour. Ça va oui, 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 ça va et vous Ça va, ça va. Alors, bah, on est les premières. Hein. Enfin, moi, normal. <rire> oui, j'ai voulu me connecter en avance histoire d'être sûre que ça fonctionne. Oui. Au moins, je sais qu'on m'entend. <rire> voilà, absolument. Après, j'ai muté tout le monde. Hein. Pour, oui. Euh, oui, pour, euh, oui, 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 bien sûr, oui, c'est normal. C'est normal. <rire> ok, merci, à tout de suite. À tout de suite. Vous voulez voir euh, votre présentation, comment ça rend à l'écran pendant qu'on est toute seule Alors, euh, euh, oui, bien sûr. Euh, là. Alors. Ah, c'est très joli ce visuel, hein le, le, la couleur violette comme ça et tout, j'ai trouvé ça super. <rire> c'est vrai, c'est vrai que. Il a fallu que je bidouille un petit peu, comme, euh, comme tu avais dit, euh, parce qu'on a du 16 neuvième, l'écran étant... Oui, ce n'est pas un problème, c'est pas un problème du tout. Voilà. Ah, c'est top. <rire> très bien, très bien. Voilà, donc... Bonjour Parfait. Marie. Alors... C'est parfait, oui. <rire> Alors, l'autre, l'autre, l'autre présentation. Bon. Bonjour Marie, ça va Allez, Je vais lui présenter sa, sa présentation. Je veux juste voir si ta vidéo fonctionne. Ah oui, ça c'est... Euh... Moi, je suis comme Daft Punk, quand hein, je me cache. <rire> hein? Ok, ça marche du coup. Ah, parfait. Voilà. Donc, je vais revenir à la page de démarrage. Hop. Je voulais aussi vous demander... Euh, Est-ce qu'il y a moyen d'envoyer euh, d'envoyer d'envoyer un lien sur le chat euh, tous ils les peuvent acteurs le récupérer, Ils peuvent le récupérer, mais euh, franchement, c'est mieux euh, à terme dire qu'on va l'ajouter à la, à la liste des vins. Là où vous avez votre liste, parce que là, c'est ici, ils vont le perdre. D'accord. Enfin, ils vont le perdre, ils pourront pas le récupérer. Euh, oui. S'ils cliquent dessus, il y a des risques que ça, il y a des risques que ça parte, euh, voilà, qu'il y ait des problèmes de connexion ou de ralentissement. Oui. Donc je préconise que de, de dire voilà, il y aura, un, il y aura un lien et puis on va vous partager un lien, il sera sur la liste des vins euh, à la fiche de la carte, ok D'accord, oui, parfait, voilà. super, <rire> merci. De rien. Bonjour, Patrick. Alors, Catel, allô? Catel, vous êtes la première. Je voulais savoir si c'était bon pour vous.
Catel. Oui. Bonjour, vous m'entendez euh, Oui, et moi, vous m'entendez oh, Non, parfait, oui, moi, je ne vous entendais pas, mais je pense que c'était le, le lapsus pendant que vous étiez en train de vous connecter. <rire> je vous vois arriver, mais le temps que ça, ça se met en place, voilà. Voilà, on a Pascal, on a ben, tout le monde, pratiquement, ça commence à arriver. Bonjour Odile. Comment vas-tu Pascal Bonjour Eliott, bonjour Geoffrey. Bonjour. Hello, everybody. Hello, I'm going to raise my leader. Good morning. Would you like to speak, uh, just to say your word, Bob, to see if we can hear you? <laughs> yes, good morning. This is Bob Cranston with uh, Tentation par Caillou, Clément de Bordeaux. Impeccable. See you later. C'est bon. Uh, C'est bon. Bravo. Yes, it works. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> Vive le Clément. Vive le Clément à Québec. So please keep your uh, microphones muted while you don't speak, please. Three more minutes, Pascal is ready. Huh? Odile, bonjour, c'est Marie. Est-ce que vous m'entendez? On entend, oui. Super, c'était juste pour vérifier. Parfait. Voilà. Merci. Maintenant, beaucoup. vous vous mutez tous parce que vous faites du bruit avec les bouteilles et tout ça. Merci. OK. Super, merci.
Pascal, I think it's time to start. It's 10. Uh, well, it's 10 a.m. for me. It's 11 a.m. In, in Montreal. So. Ah, yes, we must respect the hour. Yes, so, absolutely. Welcome, everyone. My name is Hello. Pascal Fernand, and this is my colleague, Williamson, and Geoffrey Pellegrin. Hi. Welcome to all the, our buyers from the USA, Mexico, Canada, and the Dominican Republic. Welcome winemakers from the Loire, Rhône, Languedoc, Southwest, Auvergne, and Emilio Romagna in Italy. Each winemaker will have 10 minutes to introduce themselves and present their wine. Buyers may choose to ask the winemaker question in private, in the chat on the right of the screen, or by mail. We also encourage live, live questions following each presentation. On the topic of sample, Elliot and I will be your contact for the logistic of this process. Do not hesitate to reach out to us directly regarding sample after the event. Now, I give the floor to our Odile Charny joining us from Playa del Carmen in Mexico. Hello, Odile. <laughs> thank you, Pascal. <laughs> Pleasure. Thank you. So, thank you to all the participants to be here with us today. So, you just saw the recommendations. Please, unless you are the speaker, keep your microphones off. And uh, let's start with our friend from, uh, we will start the presentation with sparkling wines from the Loire Valley. And Katel Javrolo is joining us from Amsterdam. She's in transit to another destination. So Katel, welcome. The microphone is all yours. Uh, Katel? Allo, allo, Katel? I am. The floor is okay. yours. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, wonderful. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Catel from the French Loire Wines. I'm very happy to be with you uh, today. And as said um, Odile, I am in Amsterdam through a transfer because I was in Denmark for the last three days to visit my customer and my prospect. So I hope that I can visit you uh, next year or you can visit me by our Loire Valley. So my atmosphere will be not at my home or at my home office or by the domain, but I am in the airport in Amsterdam. So um, I work for five family domains for the French Loire wines. And today, especially, we will speak about the two domains from the Loire Valley, the domain Armand David for the Crémant de Loire and the Saumur, the domain Le Clos du Bignon for the Crémant de Loire and the sparkling Saumur, white and rosé. These two families work like artisanal domains. They work from the fourth generation and they propose us five sparkling Loire wines. Each domain has around 35 hectares in a wonderful touristic area along the Loire River. Our Loire River is a river from around 1,000 kilometers from Nantes to Sancerre. And among these rivers, we have wonderful castles where you can visit our wonderful touristic area. Um, you know that in front, we are very keen on the castle and the uh, chateau and the, as Chenonceau, Chambord, Cheverny and Saumur, we are wonderful castles where in the 14th, 15th and 16th century, uh, our many king lived there. So we drank wines in the Loire Valley for many years now. So why we are at the conference today? We started first the development of these two domains on the European market. So now we are ready to develop the American North Country, and we are very happy to propose you my two domains. So we started with the, North, with the uh, European market, where we are approved by the customers, and where we develop all over Europe, in Denmark, Sweden, Germany, Switzerland, 
Belgium, Luxembourg, UK. And now we are very keen on to develop this part of your country. And so we need to build a, a good relationship between you, the domain, and the wines. So now we are ready to consolidate our business to your country. And what is important too, our sparkling wines are the Cremant de Loire and the Saumur uh, have some awards. And awards from example, the Cremant de Loire, Prestige d'Armand, these wines have an award from gold medal at the Franco International Trophy. And then the Saumur Brut d'Armand have also a, a gold medal for Concours des Vins Saumur in 2018. And then we have al already a gold medal for the Grand Vin de France de Maco in 2019. So our wines are uh, re renowned by the uh, customers and by the awards. So um, our wines uh, stay on the, in barrel one year at the Clément de Loire and then four years on the lead. So they stay in total five years in the cave. So it's a quite a long time to have a very wonderful Cremant. And the Saumur stay two years on the lease in the cave. And it is a very long time too. So our very um, Cremant de Loire and Saumur, very uh, well done by the wineries. And the um, variety of the cépage for the Cremant de Loire is uh, set up by the Chardonnay and Cabernet Franc. 80% Chardonnay, 20% Cabernet Franc. The Saumur, it is 70% Chenin. Chenin is a big cépage by the Loire, and 20% Cabernet Franc, and 10% Gros Lot Gris. Then, for the domaine Le Clos du Beugnon, the Crédant de Loire is set up by 100% Chardonnay. And the Saumur, uh, white and rosé, are set up by 70% Chenin and 30% Chardonnay. And um, we appreciate this wine for all the lunch or the dinner. You can associate our uh, Cremant or Saumur for a wonderful dinner with a salad, with salmon and shrimp, and then a grilled fish. And to finish, you can uh, have a dessert like a strawberry with pistachio ice cream. So it will be a wonderful dinner that you can uh, propose with our Fremont. Another point to um, the, the satisfaction of our uh, products, our wines, um, our domain work in family. It's family domain. We are in charge of the wines to the commercialization. We have small domain, small family domain for two, three or four people. So we work in a very, uh, a, a very uh, near, nearest relationship. Another point for our Loire uh, wines is the weather. Our weather allows us to have, we say, an Angevin sweetness. We have no big temperature between the summer and the winter. We are located near the Ocean Atlantic and the Loire River has the regulatory role. Our terroir has soil schist and argilo carcare and sun, which offer us good arrangement for the wines. So to sum up, we have all you have now all the tools for feel free to contact me for discussion or receiving samples or technical cheat or pricing or visiting or all this phone on the same time. Thank you very much for your listening and trust having a prompt cooperation with some of you. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Catel. Thank you very much, Catel. Thank you, Catel. Thank you, Catel. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Okay, so uh, yet in the Loire Valley, um, Pascal uh, will present the wines from Domaine Gardien. So, Pascal, you are the speaker now. Thank you. Thank you. So, it's not me who introduce me. I drink Domaine Gardien and Elliot talk about the Domaine Gardien. So, we'll leave Pascal to do the drinking while I do the talking, okay? So, today I'm going to present Domaine Gardien Frère, um, presenting for Olivier Gardien. 
um, who produces 100% Chardonnay wines from uh, Aubert. Um, Domaine Gardien can make private labels of your choice and is also open to traveling globally for product promotion uh, once COVID allows for this type of travel, obviously. Um, he'll also send sam samples to you and your clients so that you guys can taste this delicious wine um, and also or organizing virtual events in the meantime um, for interested clients. So a little bit of details on the wines. Um, Domaine Gaudillon sparkling wines are available in both white and rosé. They're produced with the same technical process as champagnes. So like champagne producers, the bottles are actually rotated um, and also undergoes a disgorgement process. Uh, the bottles are aged nine months in, a, in the cellar and the grape quality is exceptional, resulting in extremely fine bubbles, which is beautiful uh, on the palate. Uh, the wine is full, but easy drinking, not too sweet with low acidity. Um, it's an, it works as an excellent aperitif or also in cocktails. So um, Olivier suggested adding it with a little bit of creme de cassis or my favorite, which is apéritif spritz um, and also mimosas on a Sunday morning for brunch. Um, this is the official sparkling wine of all official events and gatherings in the region. And Domaine Gaudien's unique sparkling has been made by the same family for the last century. So it's a family business making these really unique wines. Uh, do you have anything else to say about it? No, me, I can say it's very good for the aperitif. The price is incredible because we talk about only six euro and it's a uh, 100% uh, Chardonnay, one, one, of, one of them. And uh, it's very popular in France because it's good and it's not so expensive. Mm -hmm. So with the, with the situation now, I think it's a good choice. Uh, someone asked, what's the production? Alors, it do 50,000 bottles. 50,000 bottles. Um, if, so that's the... 50,000 bottles only for the white mm -hmm. and 30,000 bottles for the rosé. 30,000 for the rosé. Um, so that are that is all the details. If you guys... Oh, Monica said total 80,000. So 15, exactly. 30, exactly, yeah. It's 80,000 total. Monica asks if we can make more. Sure. Yes. Sure, because be they have a lot of wine over there. Yeah. Um, so you can actually get in touch with uh, us or Domaine Gardien after the event and we can discuss this. Um, and that's everything that we have to say about Domaine Gardien. If there's any questions, you can go ahead. Okay, thank you very much, Elliot. Thank you, Elliot. <laughs> Thank you. And sorry, Pascal. And sorry, Elliot. I thought it was you. Anyway, it's both of you, a team. Okay. Now, um, we don't have further comments. So we move to the Rhone Valley, where uh, Marie Roche will present her wines from La Cave Monge Granou. All right. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Marie. Uh, I am the export manager for the Cave Monge Granon in Verchigny, which is a small village in the southeast of France. Um, I hope you guys managed to keep your spirits up as much as possible. Um, we're going to try to help you do that with our beautiful bubbly, which is called the Clairette de Die. Um, so our estate uh, was started in 1985 uh, by the three Monge brothers that you can see here, and François Granon, hence the Monge Granon name. Uh, we run uh, 42 hectares of vineyards ourselves. Uh, that would be about 105 acres. Um, we also recently... Um, acquired a new estate about 20, uh, 25 kilometers away from our headquarters uh, where we produce steel wines. Um, we produce um, 50,000 bottles of steel wines at the moment, but because the, the acquisition is quite uh, recent, uh, we aim at reaching 65,000 in, in a pretty near future. Um, and we produce almost 600,000 bottles of sparkling wines. Um, 
I'm here today because I think our wines have a really great potential in the United States. Um, we need to start somewhere. So I think the states that would be really um, good places for us to start might be uh, California, Florida, Texas. Um, a huge work has been done over the past few years to modernize the image of the Claret de Die. Um, and really the main reason I'm here today is because I, I, I'm convinced, like really, that um, we can keep upgrading it um, and I'm sure we can do that together. Um, so you have four wines here on the presentation, but I thought it might be a good idea to focus on two of them today. Um, I'm going to start with the Cremo. Um, so our Cremo is made of 83% uh, Claret grape varietal, 15% uh, Aligoté, and the two remaining percent are Muscat. Uh, it is a traditional method uh, vinification process. It's a brut wine. So I have one glass here. I hope you can see it. Uh, so it's got a beautiful um, pear straw color. Um, and on the nose, well, I know how it's like, but you know, um, it develops um, notes of Granny Smith, um, nice and um, citrus. Uh, aromas, uh, developing to fresh almonds, um, white flowers as well, um, linden, let's say. Um, it is a very nice and tangy wine on the palate. It really um, tickles uh, the palate um, with a pretty interesting long finish, I'd say a moderate plus. Um, it is really elegant bubbly um, with a lot of finesse. Um, you can imagine uh, going with um, raw fish dishes. I'm thinking maybe a sea bream tartar, um, some with some exotic fruits, why not? Mango or whatever you feel like. Um, and it's also a pretty good match with more sophisticated dishes. Um, I'm thinking a beautiful piece of um, poultry with one of the creamy truffle sauce sort of thing, um, mushrooms as well. Um, so yeah, the idea is to enjoy ourselves. Um, and it is even made easier when the wine has a great value. Um, so that was for the Cremant. Um, so I decided to present to you the Origine uh, Claret de Die because, you know, well, the three clarets have pretty much the same aromatic profile with like little differences. So the origin claret de die is organic. Um, it is 80% uh, muscat and 50% claret. Um, it comes from a terroir that is a bit higher. It's got a bit more altitude. So you have a little bit more acidity as well. Um, it is a very, um, it is a bit more mineral as well. I have it here as well. So it's a bit paler than the Cremant. Beautiful. Um, you really have that uh, river rock sort of uh, aromas on the nose um, and a bit of an exo exotic side to it as well. More towards passion fruit, that sort of fruit. Um, it is a bit more uh, vivid, you know, it's really got, um, um, how say, um, slight apple compote sort of flavors as well. I'll taste it for you. So yeah, it's a really good balance. <laughs> Acidity, um, sorry, uh, and fruit. I brought you a little idea of what to taste with it. I don't know if you can see. This is some goat's cheese from the region. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, it's a really, it's a really good match with some uh, goat's cheese, for example, or an aperitif, um, aperitif tapas, uh, with, I don't know, um, warm cheese, uh, or, after lunch or dinner as well with some little biscuits. Um, well, again, 
do not hesitate to come back to me later if you want some more details about the other wines or about the two wines I was just telling you about. Um, keep in mind that we can uh, get you a percentage of free samples for every palette that you order. I'm talking 5 to 10%, depending on the wine. Um, it really, the idea for us is really to give you some room for maneuver to um, help you promote our wines um, to your prospects. Uh, we can also discuss the possibility of um, alternative labels. Um, that's where we don't have like thousands of them, but we can discuss that as well. Um, you might notice it when I'm talking, but I really love my region. I really love our wines. So I'd be more than happy to be here uh, to with you, hopefully by coming at one point um, and visit you. But um, in the meantime, uh, you know, we can, uh, I can get you some material, uh, buckets that sort of material to help you um and when our lives go back to normal you can always come and visit us um you saw the pictures it's a really beautiful region i'd be glad to have you here we have guest houses to accommodate you guys um our maître de chez does some paragliding so if you feel adventurous you can come and and try and visit that from the sky um, so yeah, I hope I didn't forget anything important. Again, let me know if I can be of any help later on. Um, well, thank you for your attention. Sorry if I talk too much. Uh, and talk to you soon. Enjoy. Bye bye. Merci beaucoup, Marie. Merci. À bien. You are here to talk, by the way. Let me tell you. <laughs> Et santé, hein? I'm very jealous. Still in the breakfast now. Okay. Yeah, cheese, good. <laughs> and the cheese, yeah. Definitely. Please, guys, mute your um, your microphones. So next, we are still in the Rhone Valley, and now we will move to Dumbentoule and Fees. And here we have um, um. This presentation and uh, Jean Christophe, uh, Monsieur Sapé, right? Hello, everybody. Um, I'm Jean Christophe uh, Sapé and I'm the expert sales uh, manager of the winery uh, Poulet Fils. Uh, my boss Emmanuel uh, apologizes for not being here today, but uh, he's on his uh, last uh, harvest day and he's uh, hand harvesting uh, Clairette right now. Uh, so let me talk about Poulet and Fils. Uh, we are a family-owned estate situated in the Rhone Valley um, in the southeast of France. Uh, we grow our, wine, our vines um, on uh, steep slopes uh, south of the Alps and uh, uh, we are running a 24-hectare estate uh, made of 33 plots. Uh, we are growing Muscat. Clairette, Chardonnay, Aligoté, Gamay, uh, and uh, I don't know if I forgot one, maybe Aligoté, sorry about that. And uh, we are respectful of our terroir, um, so we uh, tend to protect the biodiversity in our vines, and uh, we uh, have a strict use of water, and uh, actually we were the first winery of the Rhone Valley uh, in our county Drôme to be labeled HVE High Environmental Value. Uh, we produce about 150,000 bottles uh, a year and our main production is uh, Clairette de Die, which as you probably know is based on uh, Méthode Ancestrale, uh, which is uh, one natural fermentation uh, which occurs uh, in the bottle and uh, naturally stops so when alcohol reaches uh, eight or nine uh, percent. Uh, so let me present you our um, Clairette de Die Tradition. This is the historical wine uh, of, uh, the, uh, of the estate. Um, it, uh, was, uh, it has been produced uh, previous 1900, uh, so that's quite a long time, and it has made the success of the Poulet and Fils family uh, ever since. It is uh, made of 75% Muscat and 25% uh, Clairette. 
Uh, it has got aromas of white stone fruits, so we are on uh, apple, white pear, uh, well, pear and white peach. Um, and uh, it has recently been awarded a uh, bronze uh, medal by the Decanto World Wine Awards, and we are very proud of it. Next is uh, our uh, Divine Tradition. Uh, our Divine Tradition is actually uh, also a Clairet de Dix, but of a selected plot. 75% Muscat, 25% Clairet as well. Um, we have chosen this plot because of its uh, geological uh, characteristics uh, and its impact on the aromatic of the grapes. Uh, so it produces a very elegant, smooth, uh, silky to the palate Clairet de Dix. Uh, with aromas of lychee and uh, exotic uh, fruits. Uh, it is uh, surely our premium wine and uh, it is um, a bestseller in, uh, in Taiwan actually. And um, it is really uh, fantastic. Then we move on to a different uh, method, which is a uh, méthode traditionnelle. Uh, so I am introducing you our Crément de Dix uh, Brut, uh, made of 75% Clairette, 10% Aligoté and 5% uh, Muscat. So the Clairette will bring uh, vivacity to this uh, dry sparkling wine, the Aligoté will bring freshness and the Muscat uh, will uh, bring uh, some uh, roundness and balance to uh, the wine. Uh, we are very proud uh, of this Crémant de Dix, as it has been awarded this year 90 uh, points by the wine enthusiast. And it is uh, surely our uh, best uh, seller in the United States. Uh, we've been exporting the US uh, since uh, 2004. Um, I should have told you that about its aromas, um, white flowers, citrus, honey wax, which makes it a very uh, elegant alternative to uh, champagne, for example. Uh, now, as the label, I don't know if you can see it uh, well, it's on the slide, but you can see it's also uh, on the camera. Um, we have a, a very fun label of a, of a colorful chicken. Um, so, just a little story, our American guests uh, uh, ban us from uh, changing the label. Uh, they call it the psychedelic chicken. So we are forbidden to change the label uh, if we wanted to. Finally, last but not least, as uh, the Brits would say, um, uh, the Divine Rosé, which is a, a, a pet nut, uh, a sweet rosé, uh, which makes it uh, uh, different from many uh, other uh, sparkling rosé. They're mostly dry. This one is sweet. It has got uh, nice aromas of uh, strawberry preserves, uh, rose blossoms, vineyard peaches. It is very popular among females and uh, young people uh, and uh, actually quite trendy uh, currently in uh, North Carolina. Um, to conclude, uh, we have been exporting our wines throughout the world and over three continents, uh, Northern America, uh, Europe and Asia for more than a decade uh, to more than 16 countries uh, with about 19 uh, distributors and importers. Um, we would love to share this experience of export with you, of course. The Poulet family has been dedicated to uh, high quality bubbles uh, for four generations uh, and as I've told you, uh, our wines are regularly awarded medals by the Decanto World Wine uh, Awards or uh, by the One Enthusiast. I forgot to tell you about this one. It's a gold medal by the Decanto, and this one was a silver medal by the Decanto. Uh, so, of course, we would be eager to work with you if you wish. Um, we usually uh, offer uh, free samples on the first order. Uh, to uh, help you launch our products and of course uh, you can be you will be granted my commercial assistance with regular visits to your country I'll be dedicated to helping you on your markets uh, with your uh, distributors 
uh, organizing online testing for your staff as well, or training, and of course, I will, uh, I will make my best to, uh, to, to come and visit you as often as possible. I hope I was not too long and too talkative. It was a real pleasure having you here, and I hope we'll, uh, we'll trade together uh, very soon. Thank you all for your attention, and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Excellent. Merci beaucoup, Jean-Christophe. That was very nice. Thank you for this presentation. Merci, so, um, Thank you. So now we we will fasten our seat belts and we will travel to the region of Emilia Romagna, where a newborn cantina Ventiventi will present their sparkling wines. So I hope that we have Chiara and Vittorio with us. So Chiara, Vittorio, the stage is yours. Hi, good morning. Good morning, everyone. My name is Lara, and I'm here with uh, Chiara and uh, with uh, Victorio on my left. Um, as I said, I'm Lara. I'm part of the expert team of our winery, Il Borghetto. Um, and uh, um, why, as you can see, there is a logo in the middle of the slide, and the name uh, we use to market our wines is Venti Venti. Why Venti Venti? Venti 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 is the brand and it means 2020, which is the beginning of our history. And it corresponds basically to the year when our Metodo Classical wines are available for the market. We are a brand new winery, so um, we didn't expect to start with a global pandemic. Uh, but we are strong and very motivated and we want to bring ahead our project. So let's go to slide two. It's uh, about us. So who we are? Uh, first of all, we are a family, and this is uh, definitely our strength. We are a family that has always been committed in the business community. Vittorio and his family, they have uh, uh, another business, uh, an engineering uh, business, and uh, now they wanted to create uh, a, a new project, a new family project. And this is when, back in 2013, they started uh, to build uh, the field and later on the winery. This time, they wanted to have a stronger connection to the territory, Emilia Romagna, and to the nature. That's why, uh, that's, that's why the wine. We are located, as you can see, in the northern area of Modena, uh, almost in the middle of uh, Emilia Romagna in northern Italy. Uh, there aren't so many other wineries that produce a Metodo Classico, so traditional method, as we are in, in our area. Our field is 45 hectares, uh, of which 30 hectares are with the vineyards. And we grow local varietals such as Sorbara, Lambrusco Sorbara, Salamino di Santa Croce, and Pignoletto. And also we have some international varietals such as uh, um, Pinot Blanc and Chardonnay. Uh, let's go to the next slide. So our aim was to create an healthy environment and therefore we are organic, full, full organic production. We didn't want to simply put uh, an organic mark on our bottles. We wanted uh, to really leave uh, and experience uh, the organic way. Next one. Our hospitality area. Um, it has been thought for being an enjoyable place and for becoming uh, the testing area in the lower, uh, in lower stage. And in the upper, upper upstairs, there will be a restaurant where we will pair our wines with some nice food. It's nothing new, probably, but it's not very usual in our region. Then in 2021, if we go to the next slide, we will finalize the building of this, uh, of this uh, um, let's say, tasting area and restaurant. And uh, it will be... Um, a very good meeting point for our Italian customers and for our foreign dealers that will come to see us. Next one. 
Here you can see the complete range of our wines. Uh, we do have six labels, of which five are Metodo Classico Spumante. Therefore, we utilize the Champenois sparkling uh, method uh, to make our sparkling wines. And we also uh, have a steel rosé that you don't see in the slide. Our Metodo Classico bottles, by choice and also as a matter of time, do not go through a long refinement on the yeast so that we can give more value to the primary aromas, which are basically the varietal aromas, because we don't want to hide them completely. By doing this, we obtain wines that tell a lot about our land, uh, tell a lot about our ground, wines that are elegant and well refined. We tried to maintain a common theme all over our range of wines, and that's the reason why in all our wines you will have some common features such as low content of sulfides, freshness, minerality and sapidity and a clean taste and a clean nose. We can now start with uh, some more information about the specific labels. Um, next one again. Sorry, we can go on. Okay, this one is the first uh, um, sparkling wine we make, Metodo Classico. It's a Pignoletto DOC. Usually, the Pignoletto wines have an intense yellow color and a distinctive characteristic, which is a, a slight bitter feeling in your throat when you drink it. In full respect to the tradition, we try to give our vision to the Pignoletto by making a sparkling wine of it with a, a very clear uh, yellow color and with uh, some light green tones. Our goal was to make a fresh wine with a delicate scent and marked uh, minerality with a re refined perlage. It goes very well uh, with the seafood and it is a very good wine for happy hours. It's uh, a, a very enjoyable wine. Next one is uh, the Spumante Lambrusco uh, Salamino di Santa Croce, again Metodo Classico. Uh, the Lambrusco Salamino is very often made with Charmat method and therefore in tongues. And it, this does not express uh, the full potential of this grape. With uh, our Metodo Classico, we try to give value to the Lambrusco, to this specific Lambrusco varietal, as it gets very creamy and with an enveloping and very pleasant bubble. The predominant scents uh, of the Salamino are wild berries, raspberry and blueberry, and uh, these aromas are emerging very clearly with the sparkling. The main challenge with the Salamino was to make a soft and creamy wine without added sugar, and the residual sugar in this wine is 0.5 gram per liter, so very low uh, content of the residual sugar. The next one, uh, it's uh, our 2020 Rosé. It's uh, Spumante Lambrusco Modena DOC Metodo Classico. It's a single grape, 100% Lambrusco of Sorbara. Uh, this is a traditional varietal, which is ideal for the sparkling vinification because it has a high level of, of acidity and a delicate scent. The wine, the bottle, and the label uh, simply reproduce, uh, reproduce our ambitious attitude, but at the same time, the simplicity of an elegant and refined wine that doesn't need a long introduction. So the strength of this wine is the transparency, and that's the reason why we use a see-through bottle. Hey, uh, we, we see, um, as you can see, it's a pale rose, and we didn't want to hide that very specific color. So you don't need uh, to talk Italian to understand this wine, because the wine will speak for itself. Next one again, um, it's uh, our 2020 Brut Fumante Metodo Classico. This one is a blend. Uh, it's an 85% Chardonnay. 15% Sorbara vinified white. 
in the bottle and the label reproduce again the content 100%. So elegant, clean, and long standing uh, aromas, strong and delicate at the same time, with a strong soul and fresh taste. Uh, we wanted uh, to make an elegant wine again, and uh, an easy and easy to drink wine. Uh, both with more structured food, but uh, very good also for happy hours. Uh, it has sense of a green apple, uh, some sweet notes, and a good and fresh minerality again. And this um, is making this wine uh, ideal for any occasion. Let's move on again. Venti Venti Padose, the final, the, the last one. Our zero dosage is ideal uh, to complement our range because it shows uh, completely the work that has been done in the cellar. And this is a wine that once it is in the bottle for the, the refinement, it cannot be improved or modified during the debauchment. So it's probably the most complex blend we offer. And the blend is basically 65% Pinot Blanc 20% Chardonnay and 15% Sorbara V5 White. We wanted to make a wine with its own personality. Sometimes the vinification processes may seem all the same, so the risk is to maybe have similar wines, but we do see things uh, a little bit differently because we definitely have wines with some trade union, uh, such as minerality, freshness and sapidity, as I said, but at the same time, they differ from each other and they uh, all have a distinguishing feature that makes them all unique. So they basically belong to the same team, but they play different roles. Um, we, and another important thing is that we basically utilize uh, the Sorbara as a Pinot Noir. So there is no need for us to utilize Pinot Noir in our sparkling wines, because Sorbara has uh, similar features uh, in, in the vinification process. So, um, we are getting uh, to the end uh, of our presentation, maybe some further information about uh, the overall production. As I said, we are a brand new winery. Uh, first, the vine and first harvest was done in 2018, and this is when we were able to make approximately 30,000 bottles. And in 2019, we were able to reach 35,000. And this year, and it seems to be a very good year for the harvest, we will do 70,000 bottles. Again, it's hard to talk about wine because uh, usually uh, wine uh, needs to be tasted, but we hope that with uh, this uh, short presentation, we simply created some appetite to come and visit us or at least to taste our wines. Thank you so much for your attention. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Apologies, I had an issue with the, with the slides. No but thank you. <laughs> yes. yes. Um, uh, auguri. For the venti venti, we wish you very much success, yes. and you have everything to to reach that success. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Awesome. Bye. We have a question for you guys, if you don't mind. Um, we have a question. If you are already in the U.S., we have just started, uh, so we are trying to identify and find the right importers in the United States and uh, more in general in North America. Okay, perfect. The other question is if you don't mind sending a price list um, or if you know the prices for each bottles, if you could send us a price list so that we can distribute it um, to the buyers that are interested. Okay. Uh, I have your email address. Uh, yeah, I'll send it directly to you in the chat. Okay, okay. excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you. Super. Thank you very much. So, <laughs> ciao. Thank you. So, after this visit to the beautiful Modena, we will come back to France. And now uh, we are traveling to the Languedoc where Anne Leroy will present uh, the wines from Sieur d'Arc. Anne, the stage is yours.
Thank you for joining you. us. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Languedoc Roussillon region and uh, welcome to you where we are. My name is Anne, so I'm in charge of the USA and I'm working for Sierra, uh, which is a crop which has been created in 1946. So uh, our members are of the wild world. We have uh, 193 one world working for the company. And since 1946, so we are producing lemon sparkling, blanket and cremordial, and we are also producing steel wines. What is this one between blanket and cremordial? This one is the, in the composition, in the grape variety. So just as a short summary, the blanket, in the blanket de Lille, you would find the major part is mosaic. We have only two places in, uh, in France, in Lille and Gaillac, where you can find mosaic. And in the Cremant, the major part is Chalet. Then you can have Chenin, Pinot Noir, and, and mosaic. So uh, we, as I told you today, uh, we are presenting you so, so starting. We will start with the block of the new name, Yafan Bronkine. Next page, please. So the Yafan Bronkine, I'll show you uh, the glass with the Yafan Bronkine. So the blanket you have a really nice gold color. The bubble has been really thin, and this is a blanket so you can taste. You can have the papaya, or you can with uh, fish, with uh, salt fish. So this blanket, so the major part is 90% of mosaic, then 5% of chamele, and 5% of china. When you taste it, so you, you find fruity aromas such as apple, pear, and peach. Uh, not a dairy, it's down, uh, and also alcohol and anger. This is the blanket is really easy to do, and it's not complicated. And so, as in Canada, because we are saying to Canada, the blanket is new, you can uh, add uh, oranges, or maybe you can add, add a fruit like sugar with violet or with another aroma. This is something people like to do. We said from the beginning, a food is in dessert. Of course, services which are crop and we are introducing the food starting for one, we are participating through a uh, competition. And so you can see on this first uh, presentation that we have several meals, the gold meals, after the food but also we are uh, attending to the US competition. With the Los Angeles, the Green Pacific, and so this blanket uh, will be well appreciated. Uh, and we are uh, happy to have a little for it. On the next page, then we are moving to the Grand Pacific uh, Centenaire. Next page. So the Grand Pacific Centenaire, we have the white and rosy. So this grain uh, is well known in Germany. Is well known in Australia. We are selling a little bit on the West Coast in California, but this one is also available for the United States. So the difference is that and, each of us is shadowing. Just uh, do you have uh, some headsets? Because the voice is not very good. If you have your uh, des écouteurs, vous n'avez pas ça? It was not really well working. <laughs> Because we don't hear you very well at some point. It, it's, I mean, sometimes it lags a little bit. So I don't know if it's the the internet, the Wi-Fi, or maybe your microphone. So let's try with your with your with a headset, if possible. Sorry. Uh, you hear me now? Yes. It's better. Mm, far better. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Uh, so, uh, let me know if better are in the area. It's okay. Okay, let's go back to the Cremant de Limo, the Grand Prix 151. Uh, in fact, why is that? Because you said that this is the first passing one in the world as we created. 
and to water for water media. That's why we have this uh, number on the, on the label. So as I told you, depending on the market, depending on the country, uh, people like modern label or let's say traditional label. So this one is traditional and we are seeing uh, to Germany, to uh, Australia, and uh, we are selling to Canada, but to the entire world. Because uh, in Canada, it is not the way. So this one, uh, as you can see, uh, it is uh, the same color, you have the, the gold color with green green for the white. And uh, so this is uh, one compare with um, seafood, this fish, and you can also uh, drink it with chicken liver. Then we have the promo version, actually. So this is the glass of the one to be promo version. We will give you some color, uh, and you have maybe about 40 in Chardonnay, it is 55 percent. Then you have 30 percent of Chuna and 50 percent of Chinois. Uh, all our blankets and colors have made according to the distribution method, and you have a minimum for the blanket 12 months on that, and for the color it goes from 12 to 50 up to 80, which is for the next one. And we have sometimes more than forty pounds on lapis. So this one, the crema rosé, uh, still the we have not to tell you, started two or three years ago, but more and more people are going to start to Wait, wait. Uh, uh, and, yeah. Ah, là, je vous entends mieux, c'est que il y, y a un moment où on vous entend pas, et je pense qu'il doit y avoir un, un faux contact au niveau du microphone. Là, c'est bon, allez-y. C'est bon. So, uh, I, I said that the, the, for the promo rosé, the trend started three, three years ago, that people more and more are drinking promo rosé. And this is really nice promo because it's a it good acidity, it's lovely. And in fact, you can uh, drink it with uh, salt, with salmon. Uh, you can have it in green, with seafood, and up to the dessert. So, you can start it as a appetizer up to uh, the dessert. All of our cake and promo are really low in acid, in low in sugar, actually, because we have only 7 to 8 grams of sugar per liter. And we are all about 7.5 degrees of fiber. All the work and promo can take at least two years to the date of future. The next one, and the last one, is the level room. So this is something new for the next one, because we change the level of the water. Non, ne vous, ne vous éloignez pas, d'accord. Reste. Je crois que il, il doit être mal branché le micro. Vous voulez essayer de 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 de. de... Non. Bah, allez-y. Yeah. Okay. And the last one is the blazon room. So compared to the previous one, which was the grand cru, which is um, the Saint-Pierre, we said we will notice that we have more chalet in this one. And then the, the 18 on last is a minimum of 18 months. So uh, you will find a little bit of more spicy, it's, the, the mousse is more clear, uh, it's more warm, uh, and uh, you see a uh, crema uh, that uh, you will appreciate in this one, not, not stir or long food. And at the end, just to give you some ideas and some figures of the company, you have a summary of what we are, so the cooperative as a TV is mainly producing sparkling, the bad sitting and bottles, and we are also producing a steel wine and uh, so in bulk and uh, in both uh, So we are uh, already exporting to uh, single markets, but we are already in Tennessee, we can do that for own brand. We can also produce and uh, Send so with you in all level if you want to. And so, US is still a big market, and uh, so we are really interested in developing. And uh, of course, finding a new partner, but on a long term basis, because we would like to build a really strong relationship with important distributor for the brand we have and the brand we can trade for two one. At the end of this presentation, you will see that uh, you have the funnel. And uh, that uh, you have a special event that is In fact, in the moon, we have the longest time in Europe, starting from January to March. 
So, if you want to come visit us and uh, enjoy and participate in Canada, you are most welcome. And we have this participation event starting in 1990, uh, where we have a uh, two star chef uh, preparing the dinner for the Gala. And uh, during the weekend in the village, you can uh, taste, appreciate the sparkling, and also the cinema of the Chardonnay from the Gala. So that's what, why you have this picture on the last page. That uh, if you want to celebrate all wine, if you want to visit a beautiful menu uh, and on the wine, you are most welcome. Thank you for your attention. Merci Anne. Je suis désolée qu'on vous ait entendu, euh, que le son n'ait pas été bon. Euh, bon. Peut-être qu'on peut faire un enregistrement pour, euh, pour essayer de, de faire un montage avec la vidéo après, pour avoir ouais. euh, sur le recording un, un, un meilleur son. Mais merci ouais. beaucoup. Merci à vous. So, <laughs> thank you. So, uh, our next stop is in the southwest region of France. So, uh, in a region where the wines, um, the appellation is Gaillac is uh, mm -hmm. where they produce oh. Gaillac. And uh, Marie uh, mm. from Cavla Bastide will join us. Thank you, Marie. Hello, everyone. I, I hope you and your relatives are doing well in this crazy context that we're actually living in the moment. I, I'm Marie and I'm export assistant for Maison La Bastide. Um, I am very, very pleased today to uh, show you our sparkling wines um, and hope to get really good contacts and, well, build strong partnerships to, to grow business together. I, but, yeah. you know, I don't know why, but I always thought Alan had some connection in Alberta. Hi guys, mute your phones, please. I <laughs> uh, so first thing first, uh, I'm just going to introduce a bit uh, Maison La Bastide. We are uh, a winemaking seller um, founded in 1949 in the southwest region of France, located in well the Occitania region, and more specifically in the town um, area and in the Gaillac Terroir. So uh, we represent a group of 100 winemakers and, about, and we have about 850 hectares of vines. Um, we have some certifications as well that we are particularly um, proud of. The ISO 9001 and the IFS as well as organic certification for some of our um, steel wines. Um, we sell about 4 million bottles per year and produce 70,000 hectolitres of wine. Um, and then, yeah, 96% uh, of our activity is based on the French market and 4% is based um, on the export market, mostly in European countries. Um, that is why we're willing today um, to find and create new and strong partnership within your countries. Um, we are counting on you to make our first move on your market, uh, helping you to develop the sales and um, offering you good quality wines at very good um, prices. But let's talk about the wine now. Uh, we basically have decided to divide our sparkling range into three different um, categories. Uh, the first one would be the slightly fizzy wines, um, then the very intensely fizzy wine. And uh, then, I'm, well, the more um, elegant and fine, uh, more premium wines. So I, the first one, sorry, uh, the first one um, is the Perlé original. Um, if you want to see maybe a bit more the label, here it is. 
I, it's the emblematic wine of the um, of the cellar. I, it is the first of its kind um, to be produced in the region. It has been created in 1957. Uh, so basically, we use um, the first juice issued from the training and pressuring of the grapes and keep it cold still before the fermentation. After that, it's like pumped over and stay on lease for six months before bottling. Um, this wine is made of 20% of Luan de Leu, which is a grape variety from this terroir. Um, sixty-seven percent of Mosaic that Anne told you about earlier, and nine percent of Sauvignon Blanc. It has a very nice yellow um, color with green hues and shiny highlights, with um, very fine and elegant bottles and um, bubbles. <laughs> sorry, uh, it is fresh with aromas of white fruits. Um, the mouth is elegant and fresh with um, good acidity and it is well balanced. I, then we have um, the Fizz branch that I can show you as well here. Um, here it is. There you go. So this one. Um, okay, so this one is very intense on the bubbles. Um, it's made with Mosaic Luan de Leu and Sauvignon Blanc, so the same great variety as Le Perlet. Uh, if you're looking for a sweet and refreshing aperitif um, wine, well, here it is. Uh, if you want a moment of calm and conviviality, enjoying like lively bubbles, this is the wine you would be willing to go for, hopefully. I, so it is made using the Sharma method. Um, it has beautiful yellow color with green golden hues. Um, I don't know if you can actually see it properly. I, this wine is um sweet we have different wines in this um section in in this range so we have a rosé one a dry one and a sweet one um so this one on the nose is very um charming with notes of ripe peach uh in the mouth it has flavors of white fruits um and it is supported by a great sweetness but it's as well very fruity um, and it has like 45 gram sugar of sugar in it um, it's all those wines are beautiful on their own um, but they can also be blend as part of cocktail and I will tell you a bit more about that like later on um, and then the third category would be the fine and elegant bubbles more complex the premium um, brand. Um, so here it is, for example, the Brut. Okay. Uh, so those wines are made um, using the ancestral method or the Gaillac method. Um, this is part of our premium range, as I said, and it's 100% Mosaic. Um, so it gives a nice note of apple, fresh green apple for the brood with a tiny touch of sweetness, 11 grams of sugar in the brood and 40 grams of sugar in the half dry. Um, for the half dry, it has notes of cooked and caramelized apple, which is really, really nice. Uh, very sweet with a nice and pleasant bittersweet after, aftertaste. Um, so those wines are made using the ancestral method, which is like um, one fermentation in bottle with no addition of any sugar. So the sugar is natural in both of the wines and the final is really long on both of them. So as I um, mentioned as well, um, the cocktails for the fees earlier, um, it is something you can do as well with the brute, for example. 
you can um, blend the brute with violet crystals. Uh, that gives a nice twist, nice color, um, and flower notes. It's very elegant as well in the glass. Um, you can do brute with lavender syrup as well. Same, it gives a very nice twist, nice, nice color um, as well. Or you can use it uh, with the Rosemary Baby Cocktail created by um, Damon Bolt in Brooklyn. So you can use Aperol, Bourbon, Sparkling Wine and Rosemary. Um, and then finally, we are willing to build a strong partnerships with collaborators within your country. As I said, you can pass to the next one if you want. Uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, so we understand that the crisis is not easy to deal with for everyone, um, for you and your customers, for us as well, it's complicated. So what we want to offer is like support, um, first of all, <laughs> uh, a possibility to discuss the prices, um, according to the volume and the type of markets you would like to target, um, a possibility of creating marketing tools as well, um, goodies, personalized, some things like that, like um, bottle opener or um, As well, we would like to um, come and visit you, well, <laughs> Um, as soon as possible, as soon as it will be allowed. And of course, you are more than welcome to come and visit us and to discover our know-how, our prediction line, um, followed, of course, by a tasting of our wines. Um, and then um, there is something that we would like to work on as well. It's a possibility to do a tasting with your customer, but from the seller. Um, and uh, I will send you a link as well um, to show you basically the facilities and um, the barrel seller, our shops as well. Um, so to show you around from here in this context. So I would like to thank you very much for your attention. And again, you are more than welcome in the best, whenever you want, whenever it will be allowed. Merci beaucoup, Marie. Thank you very much for your presentation. I'm sorry. I was looking, I was looking for to mute uh, and again, I looked all the, the slides. It's Pascal, okay, you want to say something? Thank you. I want to drink. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> okay, so finally we arrived to um we are in the southwest, so no we not we cannot be in this region without visiting Bordeaux. And we have with us Bob Cranston who will present uh the wine from uh, Les Notables de Mocayou. So Bob, thank you very much for joining us today. The floor is yours. I'm mute. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, this has been delightful uh, watching everyone. Uh, thank you to everyone at uh, APVSA for putting this together. This has been wonderful. I feel like I've uh, been on vacation for the last hour. And, um, it's made me very thirsty so I uh, have been enjoying this wonderful bottle of Tentation par Mocayou uh, and I want to say uh, buenos dias mi amigos a Dominican Republic y Mexico uh, bonjour mes amis à Québec hello to all my friends in the United States and throughout Canada and uh, bienvenue à Bordeaux welcome to Bordeaux Bienvenido a Bordeaux. Okay, uh, I come to you this morning from Las Vegas, uh, where it's uh, 9.09 .09 and it's never too early for a glass of Cremont. Ah, à votre santé, salut, uh, 
And uh, cheers to everyone. I hope everyone has a glass of something this morning. Ah, so very good. Uh, we talk about uh, first, um, I'm the uh, managing director for Vintex. We are a mid-sized negotiant in Bordeaux. We generally sell a lot of uh, red Bordeaux. So it's exciting for us to have something that has sparkles and bubbles and is a beautiful aperitif and a wonderful wine to celebrate with and a wonderful wine to enjoy with uh, beautiful seafood, light foods, aperitifs, uh, and hors d'oeuvres, and so forth. Um, we've been in business since 1982. We do um, quite a bit of business in uh, North America, throughout the United States, and in Canada as well. We have agents in uh, Quebec and uh, Toronto, but we're always looking for new distributors in various markets, new importers, whoever it might be. Uh, Tentation par Mocaillou is a brand new wine. Uh, this has been uh, available in Europe for the last several years, but is brand new to the United States and to Canada. So that's the most important element of uh, our product. Because it's new, uh, consumers don't necessarily have a preconceived price point. Um, if any of you are in the business as long as I have been, uh, you'll recall back in the 80s and 90s, Cava was everywhere. Everyone had Spanish Cava, Fresh and A, Cordon Bleu, Sierra Then 2000, 2010, we started to see lots of Prosecco. Lovely wines, very, very nice. Um, but as you can see from all the beautiful presentations today, the wines from the Loire, from the Rhone, from uh, Italy, from um, throughout France, uh, are perhaps the next step in the evolution uh, of consumers' tastes. And uh, we feel very strongly uh, and the response has been terrific so far. Um, I live here in Las Vegas and we already have a number of resorts and very exclusive private clubs that have brought on the Tentacion um, because of its quality, its excellent price point, and the fact that it is brand new. This is very, very important. Um, everyone wants to present something to their clients, whether they retailers or restaurateurs, hoteliers, resort, that's new. And ce produit est nouvel. Est nouvel aux États-Unis, au Canada, brand new. Brand new to Mexico, brand new to the Caribbean. And it is a lovely, lovely product. Um, everyone has gotten me so excited about drinking bubbly that I opened this uh, at eight o'clock and now I'm halfway done with the bottle. So I'll show the beautiful, beautiful mousse this has. Uh, it is a method traditionnel produced from 50% semillon, which gives it some richness, 30% muscadelle, which gives it some aromas, and 20% cabernet franc, which gives it some structure. So you have beautiful complexity, you have delicate nose, you have beautiful mousse. Uh, this is the Riedel uh, Sommelier series champagne glass, and uh, the wine is gorgeous. It would be considered, even though it is Method Champenoise, it is not Champagne, obviously, but this would be the next logical step just below Champagne, just below Champagne. Uh, our friends in, in Italy make beautiful wines, our friends in Spain make beautiful wines, but Clément de Bordeaux, Clément de Bordeaux uh, would be sort of the next logical step. We have a very good inventory of this in the US at our importer wine care group in Huntington Beach. Uh, the cost domestically here in the U.S. is $10 a bottle. It comes in these beautiful six packs, which I hope you can see. Uh, they are beautiful, high gloss, and they open very, very easily. They just clip right off and pop right off here. Very simple. Very simple. And uh, the six packs are very easy to work with. Uh, they make beautiful displays for retailers. Uh, so $10 a bottle, $60 per six pack, domestic sourcing in the U.S. Uh, X Seller Bordeaux uh, through Vintex is seven euros a bottle. So just 42 euros uh, a six pack case. Uh, it is bottled to order. So uh, the wine is entourage and then they are labeled uh, with the appropriate back label for your market. 
uh, and finished to order. Uh, generally for X seller sales from Bordeaux, we ask for a minimum of uh, 100 cases, one pallet, 600 bottles, very simple. Uh, and uh, domestically here in the US, we'll accept any uh, order of any size. Uh, we have compliance with most states, uh, so we can fill orders very, very quickly. And again, there is no one, no one in the United States with one exception, we have a retailer in Colorado, uh, but very, very little, if not any retail so far uh, in the United States. So we've just launched the brand. Uh, we have several thousand bottles uh, in our warehouse in California, um, but it is brand new. So we're looking to establish Tentation, the temptation of Palmo Cayu. Uh, I generally travel quite a bit and I love to come and see my friends in Canada, uh, especially when it's hockey season. Uh, <laughs> and I'm sure that we'll all get back to normal soon and we will all deserve a glass of bubbly to celebrate. So we have a lovely straw, pale gold, beautiful color. We have beautiful aromas of acacia, of citrus. We have uh, a medium bodied mouthfeel and a beautiful crisp acidity. It's a very, very sophisticated wine. It's bone dry, uh, has a beautiful, very upscale and very unique package, as you can see on the graphics and from the bottle that I'm now halfway done with at uh, 9.16 in the morning in Las Vegas. Uh, and if anyone does want to visit Las Vegas, I'd be happy to share uh, a bottle or two of Tentation. Uh, if you would like samples, uh, we can ship them from France or I can ship them uh, from our warehouse in California. Again, it's available in six packs, 750 mil only at this point, uh, seven euros a bottle, Exceller Bordeaux, or $10 a bottle FOB from Wine Care Group in California. Uh, happy to send samples anywhere, happy to visit. Um, I see, uh, we're in Colorado, uh, Applejack, Applejack in Wheat Ridge, Colorado is the exclusive retailer, uh, in Colorado, but we would love to have on-premise business throughout the Denver, Boulder, Front Range, um, any of those markets. I've worked Colorado many, 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 many times. <laughs> in fact, I was baptized in Aspen, uh, and have family there and friends. So happy to visit Colorado. Uh, see, this is, uh. Um, my, uh, yeah, Applejack, uh, has just about to receive their product in Colorado. Um, as I said, we have a number of resorts here in Las Vegas that have, they bought it instantly when we tasted it with them, when we gave them the price, very excited, very easy sale for distributors. And we're all very confident that once we get through the current situation, that people will be very excited to celebrate, uh, whether it's a wedding an election, the new year, whatever it might be, uh, we say, à votre santé, salut, avec le Crémont de Bordeaux, tentation par mon caillou. Merci. Excellent. Merci. Kudos. Wow. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much. Does anyone have a, does anyone have a question? Quelle question? Well, I think that the questions will flourish on your email. <laughs> yes, yes. So nothing in Canada yet. No, we do. We do have agents in Quebec and uh, Ontario, but we would love business in British Columbia, Manitoba, and I will visit whenever the opportunity presents itself. Uh, J'adore tout le Canada. J'adore au Canada. C'est bon. Thank you so much, Bob. Thank you so much, Bob. So th there is a question. So who is your agent? This is a question from Charles Stephen Trenholm, who was asking who's the agent, uh, the agent in Ontario. Oh, my goodness. Um, we have to go to uh, Julien. Julien Merck, my assistant in Bordeaux, and uh, Philippe Larcher. Uh, he is also on there. Would you gentlemen please post for everyone um, the agent in Ontario, uh, as well as Quebec, s'il vous plaît, Philippe, Monsieur Laché, allez, allez. Ah, we do not have an agent in Ontario. My apologies. Uh, we don't have an agent in Ontario. So, um, I know we've been 
trying to work with uh, with someone. So um, we we will accept new agents for Tentacion in Ontario if we have someone. Uh, we would love to have them. So uh, please, uh, any opportunities? We're happy to send you samples, um, and we would look forward to doing business. And uh, I adore Toronto again, especially in hockey season. Although um, when baseball is playing, that's okay too. Um, but uh, love to visit. Good. I see we have someone. No, nothing in Alberta. So we would love to be in Alberta. Um, uh, love to go to an Oilers game uh, or um, see uh, 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 just about anything up there. It would be fun. Uh, fun to visit uh, Edmonton. Okay. There was another question, and it comes from Konstantin uh, Zamifescu. Uh, what is the distributor price? Well, as I said, so the Exceller price from Bordeaux, you can order Exceller direct and choose your, the importer of your choice is seven euros per bottle. And if you prefer to buy out of our California importer, which is the Wine Care Group, it's 10 US dollars per bottle. So it's $60 a six pack, um, FOB California or 42 euros, uh, seven euros per bottle Exceller Bordeaux. D'accord? Parfait. Bien compris. <laughs> Merci beaucoup, madame. Merci beaucoup. So I hope everyone, and if you if you have a, an opportunity to visit Bordeaux, um, the, the uh, Domaine de Mocayou, Chateau Mocayou, our friends at uh, uh, throughout Bordeaux, we would love to have you visit. And um, my uh, colleague, uh, Monsieur Philippe Larcher or Monsieur Julien, would be happy to show you around Bordeaux to any of the chateaux that we represent. Excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, it was answered, Constantine. <laughs> Thank you very much to everybody for being with us today. That was fun. Very few um, glitches, but so far it was uh, a very nice presentation. Pascal, do you want to say a word before the end? Yes, I actually, I'm just going to say a quick thing and then Pascal will sign off, but um, I wanted to ask Maya Parrish if she wanted to say a couple words. I know that she wanted to say something quickly at the end of the presentation, if Maya is there. And then after, it'll be Alan. Okay. Can you see me? Uh, yes, we can hear you. Go ahead. Hello, everyone. Um, so this was a really great presentation. Hello, my name is Maya Parrish, and I'm out here in Denver, Colorado, U.S. So thank you for having me. Um, I'm actually sitting here going a little nuts. It's early. Okay, I put full makeup on, y'all. Um, <laughs> but I am really surprised by the amount of sparkling wine in regions that we just don't hear about here in the U.S. So I really appreciate this presentation. Um, Colorado, please look for us as a stop. We are between Chicago and, L and L.A. There's nothing in between, not really. Um, thank you. And so um, I definitely love to host sparkling wine events in all forms. Um, I do plan on getting my um, Champagne Master accreditation sometime in the next year or so. But, um, um, I will I will be emailing everyone for samples, and I'm going to get up to Wheat Ridge to go get this uh, Cremant de uh, Bordeaux wine. That was a great presentation by Mr. Is it Cranston. Is that his name? He's fine. Huh. Um, but yes, thank you guys so much for having us. Again, Colorado is a great space. We have some great distributors. I'm very um, well connected with uh, a lot of the distributors out here. So for hosting events in regards to trade and media, I'm a wine judge. I'm a, I'm a sommelier, but I am not on premise. I produce my own wine events. And right now we're working on a sparkling wine event that will be, um, I'm going to go buy bo 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 uh, six bottles. Yes. We're working on a sparkling wine event that is on October 24th. It will be on premise, but we also have virtual. Okay, so we do, I do a lot of virtual events, so that's not an issue. 
Um, again, consider our area. I'm a wine writer too um, for local magazine here in Denver, Colorado, and I'm now working with Vine Pair. Um, so, magazine, so or online magazine. So, um, I'm very interested in the products that I saw. That Lambrusco, that was exciting. Um, I'm just all the Cremants. I love Cremants. I call it baby champagne. So I'm just, uh, I just wanted to say thank you guys. Um, thank you, Pascal, for having me. And I'm excited. Oh, I also work with the French Chamber of Commerce in Rocky Mountain. I'm their wine director. So there's an opportunity there, y'all. Uh, they're having an event on uh, November 19th, uh, Bouillet and Beyond. So we are going to all work together, but I just wanted to put that out there. Okay. Not to brag. I'm just letting you know, please send wine to Denver. All right. Thank you. I'm done. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, Maria. That was fun. And then, um, Alan, if you're there, we have a couple words that Alan wanted to say at the end as well. Is Alan still with us? Yes, Alan Shevek. <laughs> Does everybody, everybody hear me? Yep. Hello. Alan, can you hear us or no? I, I can hear you. Okay, okay, perfect. We can hear you now. It's good. Okay. In regards to uh, the U.S. situation presently, uh, I'm speaking to you all in regards to the fact that I'm a distributor in the U.S. Uh, there's quite a bit of wineries throughout all the world. Everybody's looking essentially for the same situation, that is to get into the U.S. Um, I highly recommend at this point in time, um, you can have your brands evaluated. We look at brands. Um, I would recommend that you potentially look at the possibilities of bringing in your own product. It is the only way that you can essentially get into the U.S. on a very timely and quickly basis. Uh, as Bob Cranston had presented his product, that is exactly what I'm talking about. If you want to play in the, the United States, you have to invest in the U.S. at this time. I believe because of the coronavirus, you can have great difficulty finding importers uh, on a timely basis. So in the end, the companies that I represent have been in the U.S. for years. Uh, Felix Solis from Spain, one of the world's largest producers, has a U.S. operation. I also handle very small companies, and they utilize my federal TTB license, but we do not charge them uh, any fees for the utilization of the license. So if you ever uh, are interested, I'm always looking for new product for the US and I can outline to you more, in a more detailed fashion, but this is just a quick overview. Thank you. If anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. Perfect. Thank you so much, Alan. Thank you so much. Alan. And thank you everyone for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you everybody for this show. It was incredible. <laughs> This is the time to take apéro, bubble apéro, I think. So yes, excellent. Thank you, Thank you all. Take care of yourselves. Bye. Bye. Hopefully, we'll see you at our next event as well. <sighs> Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, bye, -bye. bye, -bye everyone. Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, with, uh, with the mask. <laughs> <laughs> Better days ahead. Bye. Yes. Bye. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Santé.